It seems like the only records Katie Ledecky has left to, uh, to wait for it. This 21-time world champion, eight-time NC. There's more. The most decorated U.S. female Olympian of... Uh-huh. Katie Ledecky's name is never one to be forgotten. That's not surprising, though, given her high as a mountain collection of accolades, and she isn't done. I'd, I'd love to be able to compete in, in Los Angeles if, if I can. With 14 Olympic medals, nine of which are gold, Katie Ledecky is the most decorated American woman in the history of the Games. She plans to add more in LA 2028. Between now and then, she would most probably add more to her current 26 World Championship medals. And that's already a record for female swimmers, mind you. Needless to say, 2024 has been a pretty great year for her, so far. In June, she became the first swimmer to receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor. In the same month, she published her first memoir, Just Add Water. Promoting her book, when it was out, she wrote in a post that the book narrates her journey from hometown pool to the Olympics. She first announced this in May, saying, I wrote a book. She expressed how glad she was for saving all her journals over the years. I never imagined I would make it to the Olympics, or be at this level, or write a book about this unlikely career that I've had, she added. Just Add Water shares Katie's story of swimming, and shows how the love, support, and encouragement of the people who have influenced her helped make it possible. What came to light after her book was released is just how much of a disciplined and hardworking athlete she is. Enjoy, because in yeah. this book, it's very clear that you are hardcore. You are hardcore when it comes to practice and competition. Seven so, days a week. She seven mean. days a week, yeah. many, many miles. So. Evidently, her perseverance pays off, more often than not. As a matter of fact, in winning the 800 at the 2024 Games, Ledecky also became the seventh Olympian to win four consecutive gold medals in the same event. And second swimmer after Phelps. You know, Michael Phelps, legendary swimmer. Not one to chase history, Ledecky admitted that one record will stick with her. Four times is the one that means the most to me, she admitted, explaining why she showed four fingers at the finish. I knew that August 3rd is the day I won in 2012, and I didn't want August 3rd to be a day that I didn't like moving forward, she added. It's kind of like your birthday, uh, your first gold medal. You remember the day, so every year that August 3rd comes up, I... It's a great the fact that she was in Paris to compete on the exact date was pretty symbolic, to say the least. And it came up again while I was in Paris, and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to make August 3rd continue to be a happy day. <laughs> I felt like I put a lot of pressure on myself, but I'm just really happy that I could get the job done. Ariarne Titmus from Australia, who finished second to Ledecky in the 800, acknowledged, I know how hard it is to defend an Olympic title, and to go four in a row is unreal. For Katie, I knew that it was going to be a tough race all the way down to the finish. Still, she felt confident coming into it. I just had to stick in the race and trust myself, trust my training, trust that I know how to race that event. I was just relieved that I got my hand on the wall. Now, with nine Olympic golds, Ledecky joins a more elite company. Only three other Olympians have won nine gold medals. Finnish running legend Pavo Nurmi, US swimmer Mark Spitz, and US track star Mark Carl Lewis. It is worth noting, though, that none have won nine Olympic gold medals in the 21st century. With 14 total Olympic medals, Ledecky moved into fifth most decorated Olympian of all time, behind Phelps, with 23 Olympic golds, 28 total medals. Russian gymnast Larisa Latanina, with 18 total medals, and Norwegian cross-country skier Marit Bjorgen, and Soviet gymnast Nikolai Andrianov, with 15. The number of gold medals is one thing, breaking and setting new world records is another. Katie Ledecky has broken a world record 16 times. She holds the 19 fastest times ever in the 1500 meter freestyle, the 16 fastest times in the 800, and 15 of the fastest 25 times in the 400. That's not all. No female swimmer over the age of 24 has ever won an individual Olympic gold at a distance longer than 200 meters. Ledecky is the exception to the rule, so to speak. She is 27 now and has just participated in her fourth Olympics. 
Whenever she competes, the question is not whether Ledecky would win, but by how much. After all, the Maryland native is pretty much undefeated in her professional career, especially in the 1,500 meter. Arguably, her all-time medal haul would be even higher if the women's 1,500 meter freestyle had been added to the Olympic program sooner than three years ago, when the American won by more than a four-second margin on the event's debut in Tokyo. Now she's a back-to-back -back Olympic champion in the event, extending her own women's record with a seventh individual gold. It's not easy, she said. It doesn't get any easier. I try to enjoy it each year. There's different challenges each year as you get older, so I appreciate it a lot, and with more perspective than in Rio and London. Her former coach, Bruce Gemmel, described 15-year-old Katie as very quiet and even more shy. In the 12 years since, the four-time Olympian and 14-time Olympic medalist has undergone a transformation, not only from novice swimmer to one of the most successful Olympians in history, but also a personal one. What has not changed is her love for swimming and her dedication to discipline. Self-improvement and enjoying training every day. Ledecky told Olympics.com about what drives her after sweeping all possible awards in her sport. I love going to the pool every day. I'm kind of dreading the little break that I'm going to take coming up. I know I'll get back in the water probably pretty soon. I just love the feeling of being in the water and going to practice every day and working as hard as I can. This does not come as a surprise. What could be considered one is the fact that rather than the nerve-wracking meets, it is the training that Katie cherishes the most. I probably enjoy the training more than the racing, she admitted. That's understandable especially since Ledecky's discipline and consistency are well known in swimming circles and are a source of inspiration for her teammates and rivals alike. Case in point, Katie was cheered on in a special way by her Catholic school and parish communities in Bethesda, Maryland, and by the residents of Montgomery County and the state of Maryland. In mid-October, the Olympic champion was honored by Montgomery County leaders with a county council proclamation of that day as Katie Ledecky Day, and with the unveiling of an honorary road marker, Katie Ledecky Lane, outside her high school alma mater, Stone Ridge School of the Sacred Heart in Bethesda. At the ceremony, Ledecky said she was thrilled to be recognized by Montgomery County with those honors and expressed gratitude to the government leaders and school officials there. She reiterated this in an Instagram post, further writing, I appreciate the cheers from everyone in Montgomery County all these years. A few days later, she visited her alma mater, Stone Ridge School of the Sacred Heart in Bethesda, Maryland, to show students her medals and to talk about her Olympic experiences. She also stopped by her parish, the Church of the Little Flower in Bethesda. Addressing the students, Ledecky said, My favorite thing has been being able to do things like this and being able to share these medals with my community and with people. I call it the power of the gold medal, the way showing a gold medal to someone can light up their face or make them smile. So what's next for her? Oh, I've been able to catch my breath a little. I'm gonna keep going, so it, it'll be uh, a, a fun. Here's what's next for other world-class athletes like herself. 